Viewers, in this video, we are going to learn how to establish a connection from Power BI to Oracle database to pull data to be displayed in your reports. Let me give you a quick background of what is Microsoft Power BI. Microsoft Power BI is a very useful tool that provides business analytics service with interactive visualizations and intelligence capabilities for end users to create their own reports and dashboards. The desktop version of this tool is free to use and I have given below the link to download it. You can use this easy to learn tool and create informative and interactive reports and dashboards. You need to have proper license to publish your work at organization level. I have a separate video series on how to download, configure and use this tool to create reports starting with simple ones to a variety of complex ones with different visuals. And the link to the video series is given in the description of this video below. Now once you start the Power BI application, the console will look like this. And the first thing you need to do to create the report is to get the data. So click on this get data button and click on this more item. And under the get data options, click on this database item. And from the right hand side list, click on the Oracle database. Then click connect. In this box, you have to provide the connection properties like the server name, port, and the SID or the service name of the database. So I'll specify my server name, admin server, manash.com, colon, 1521 is the port number, slash, catdb.manash.com is my service name. And next, select this import option, and the direct query option can also be selected but if you select this option every time you run the report your report is going to connect to the database to pull the data so i'm selecting the import option here you can skip the command timeout in minutes option here then i'll specify a simple query just to make sure that the connection has been established so i'll put a query like select sysdate put an alias for the sysdate as sd from dual so this is a simple sql statement i'm using here just to test the connection to the database then click ok in the next screen it will ask for the credentials so we'll select the database option not the windows option and i will specify the system user to connect to the database and click connect if everything is correct in the next screen you will be able to see the data that has been pulled so this is the sysdate and the alias sd which is displayed in this data grid and now you need to click on this load button it will take a few moment and the data is loaded to the data model but it is not yet displayed into the canvas so we have three options here the report that represents the canvas itself and the data grid and the data model so we'll go back to the report option there to design the report and in the right hand side we see that there's a query one which is nothing but the sql query that we use to pull the data and we have to replace that test query with the actual query that we want to pull the data from our database so viewers, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. Please hit the like button if you liked it and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss an episode in this series or similar educational videos that I am uploading every week.